400 million years ago, the first land animals pulled themselves out of the sea. They were the ancestors of the arthropods who dominate our planet today. And each spring, on the highest tides of the full and new moons, a similar spectacle still occurs. These are horseshoe crabs, some of the most primitive arthropods alive today. They're here to breed. The males are two-thirds the size of their mates and cluster along the water's edge as the females arrive. Clinging to the female's shell, he's pulled up the beach, fertilizing her eggs as she lays. For these crabs, breeding on land is only possible because of the arthropod blueprint. Their basic body plan is the same as all arthropods. A hard exoskeleton, segmented body, and jointed legs. A body plan that's persisted unchanged for 400 million years. A body plan as adaptable as it is simple. The key design feature is no doubt the exoskeleton. A hard external skeleton, largely made of chitin, that provides protection, support for muscles, but most importantly, prevents water loss from the body. The ability of the exoskeleton to retain water is the factor that allows these crabs to lay their eggs on land and ultimately allowed arthropods to be the first animals to colonize the land.